Hi Virgo, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Virgo, this is going to be what are their true intentions in love. And Virgo, this is going to be for sun, moon, and rising. So don't forget to check your moon and your ascendant or, you know, also known as your rising videos, right? They can be really uh, helpful. And I hope you guys are well. And let's get right into it, Virgo. So I have your cards laid down here. And this could be a reversed reading. This is your energy and your person's energy is at the bottom. And I have put some cards also. I have some additional cards in this reading at the top. Uh, usually I pull these cards spontaneously, but today I kind of just, I don't know, just have the urge to do this a little bit different. And you may be, uh, for some of you guys, could be dealing with Scorpio or Sagittarius, right? Because those are the folks that are showing up in this reading. We have Scorpio uh, potentially twice. The Death card is here and the World card is here, Virgo. And you have the Five of Cups, and this is a different Five of Cups. This talks about tempting the hands of fate, but... It's like this is a danger. Yeah. And you have the three of cups in your desire. You want to return to somebody here, I'm pretty sure. And this is faded. And I feel like all the while you are ending a situation with somebody else. I feel like you are. So the three of swords is in your current energy next to the world card. It looks like you have already ended a situation or you are in the midst of leaving somebody. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they're in the midst of leaving you, but there's some type of an ending. I also feel like there is a transformation in this reading, but the transformation is of your own. Like there's an ending, but there's a transformation of you are uh, changing your life big time and moving toward somebody I believe you feel that you can't maybe live without. Or you feel so tempted, like uh, like fate is tempting you and you have to go for it. Yeah, that's what I have here. We have the older woman, uh, Virgo. And, uh, you know, this is uh, dealings with an older woman. You know, this could be one of these people that you are kind of, you know, maybe, you know, one of these people in this reading. Three of swords in the reading and three of cups. So, you know, uh, maybe, you know, your mother is involved in your lo love life. <laughs> Uh, but maybe you just, you know, these, these cards are always dramatic, right? So they show the older woman. You could be dealing with someone who's five years older than you, and, you know, they're calling that an older woman. I mean, th these cards can be a little bit dramatic, right? This is, uh, these cards are also for entertainment, not just for, uh, quote-unquote, divination. Yeah, uh, entertainment is important, you guys, especially with what's going on. If you understand what's going on around the world, we know that divination is, uh, or entertainment is really important right now for an escape. Yeah, it is. So let's see what else we have, Virgo. And uh, you have over here time to go out and have fun. The grapes, kind of like the grapes of wrath. I don't know if you guys know about that movie, but I feel like you uh, have been dealing with some kind of pain here. And uh, you could feel like it's time to go. And then also uh, you have the lobster, which is a financial pinch. All right. Maybe you've been eating too many lobsters, Virgo. You know how expensive lobster dinners are, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, that's because meat is so expensive. You could be saying, I have to eat lobster, right? And yeah, and that meat being so expensive is <clears throat> groceries in general are part of the plan. Yes, it is. Okay. But let's get back to this. Uh, and the evil eye is here. No, Virgo, it's not the evil eye. It is the all-seeing eye, okay? <laughs> and let's see what we have, Virgo. We also have uh, temperance over here, the ace of cups. See, you, you want a new beginning with somebody. You want a, an opportunity with somebody in love. Uh, and the ace of pentacles is in your challenge, too. So th the reason why this opportunity in love here, we have two aces already, is part of the challenge here is because, as I mentioned, you're ending a situation or somebody is leaving you. There's an ending and a new beginning in this reading. And uh, that is definitely, you know, when we see this type of stuff, it, it definitely could be faded, right? Because, you know, we usually don't have an ending and a new beginning, right? Most people will say, well, you don't rush into something, right, if you've just ended something. But when, when fate uh, is knocking, you don't really have a choice when the universe is in control, right? Mm -hmm. The Knight of Wands is in the reverse. This could be, you know, m many, many things. I feel like, you know, this is kind of this temperance person, maybe Sagittarius over here. Uh, it could be sometimes, 
can talk about a lack of courage, but I don't feel like you are lacking courage. Maybe in the past you have. I feel like this is probably this fire sign. It could be this Knight of Wands reversed, right? Maybe there has been, um, you know, uh, a point of being unreliable to somebody. Knight of Wands reversed can talk about player energy. I don't feel like this uh, reading is so much about anybody being a player. No, I feel like this could have been part of the past, right? And this Knight of Wands is showing up in the before tarot. So, you know, that can talk about this has happened before, right? So let's see what we have for you, Virgo. And we're going to pull a card from the Law of Attraction Tarot. Okay, so you are, for me, you are attracting and manifesting a new beginning in your life. Um, you could have already grieved with this Five of Cups. Yeah, it does talk about loss. It does. It's a different Five of Cups, right? But it talks about loss and uh, and pain. It does. I feel like you've already, uh, you know, mm -hmm. I feel like you've already kind of gone through that. So let's see what we have for you, Virgo. Let's see what you are manifesting to your life. Uh, these cards are kind of like advice cards. Let's see what we have for Virgo. And we have, uh, this is the magician. This is really interesting here. Uh, in, in this one, he's holding his hammer. <laughs> like he has all the tools he needs. Yeah, you are definitely. And we were just talking about manifesting. Let's get another card. That's just for, uh, let's see what we have for Virgo. What could Virgo be manifesting? And we have, okay, so there's some type of... Uh, this is the two of swords. This could be. Let's look. Let's see what it says in this deck because uh, the two hands are here, almost like somebody's kind of uh, maybe fighting here, not fighting, but like an arm wrestle kind of. But this can be maybe an agreement because of the way the hands are kind of you know shown here. So let's see what we have for Virgo. Uh, let's see, and we have mm -hmm. the magician talks about establish a line of contact to make. Conduct to make your dream come true and set according and act according to a strategy, but with flexibility. Yeah, and that's what I feel like I'm getting in this reading that you are like, there's some type of careful planning here and there has been a wait. Yeah, there's been some type of a wait here, Virgo. Like you didn't just rush out, you know, this ending and this transformation that you are going through. And this new beginning that you are reaching for is, this is, hasn't been anything fast. This has been kind of a plan. Uh, and the magician is very careful, right? He, you know, he uses everything perfectly, right? Like he, he doesn't rush. He uses all his powers kind of carefully and strategically. This is why we call the magician sometimes a player. Uh, although we are not uh, alluding to that in this reading, uh, anything about a player. No, we're not. Let's look at the Two of Swords, Virgo. And let's see... Uh, and the Two of Swords is friendship. Interesting. The struggle. Wow. And see, this is what this talks about. Mm -hmm. Friendship, attraction, alliance to fight a common enemy. Interesting. Potential conflict at the moment your dream should come true. Yeah. You could be thinking maybe in your fear, Virgo, is or your doubt is the Eight of Pentacles. You could be thinking that somebody here is like this person you want. In your desire is the Three of Cups. You want to reunite with somebody, it's right under temperance, maybe it's Sagittarius, and as I said, maybe it's Scorpio over here. We have two Scorpio cards in the reading. It looks like you want, like, uh, and this could be third-party energy, like, you could be, you have the Three of Swords here, and the Three of Cups in your desire, right? The Three of Swords is in your current energy, which can talk about pain, especially underneath this Five of Cups, but you could be wanting to return to somebody who is like a third party. Like, you could have left somebody behind, or they left you behind, and you were in another union, and now it looks like you are wanting to return to somebody. This is kind of how this looks. And leave your current situation, or it looks like you've already left it. Your person is in the Five of Cups energy down here, which is basically grieving. This is not really tempting fate. This is, this is a different deck. This is grieving. We have the Five of... They're both grieving and emotional loss, but your person is in that energy currently under the Three of Swords. Their challenge is the Five of Pentacles. You're leaving somebody out here, Virgo. And you're doing it for this Ace of Pentacles. That's what's in your challenge. Yeah. So, but getting back to what I was saying, I feel like you are, you're kind of doubting, right? In your doubts is the Eight of Pentacles. This talks about devotion or making an effort or 
somebody who is really inspiring you or you know you could be doubting that they are inspired or that they will make an effort or try this person that you are trying to return to right and you know there could have been uh an ending with this person in the past. I feel like there was. The fact that you are, I feel like you look like you want to return to somebody. I feel like there could have been possibly an ending with that person, right? And this is why you could be possibly, uh, you could be, uh, you know, doubting that they're going to try because maybe you have left them heartbroken in the past, Virgo. Maybe there is an element of player, uh, player energy in the past. Let's see what else we have for Virgo. Yeah, let's get, uh, and let's see what we have for Virgo and their person. And, uh, mm -hmm. let's see what we have for Virgo and their person. So, Virgo, let's look at, uh, we're going to get a card. Let's see what we have for you, Virgo. The World card and the Three of Swords right now. OMG. The Three of Swords again. This is a different deck. <laughs> this is really heartbreak. Yeah, there's heartbreak here. And I feel like this person down here feels betrayed. The Three of Pentacles, wow, there's, I don't feel like there's the only three left in this uh, that is, uh, you know, is missing here is the Three of Wands, yeah. So you ended a cycle, Virgo, you did, I feel like you broke your person's heart, yeah, I mean, uh, just reading the cards here, right? I feel like there's heartbreak, yeah. Maybe somebody broke your heart too, because this whole reading could be switched, so please know that, you guys, in case you're watching the reading going... That sounds like it resonates exactly, but it's it's really switched, right? Okay, power and light. I'm mad at you. I'm going to clobber you when I see you. And the world card again. OMG. So this is the... Wow. So we have the world card twice. Definitely ending a cycle, a chapter in your life. There is heartbreak. Uh, somebody feels a betrayal here. I feel like they do. The Ace of Pentacles is your challenge with the Nine of Wands. Okay, you're not... You're the wounded warrior, and you're not sure what's going to happen. And it's showing up over here, your doubts. You're not sure about a reconciliation. Queen of Swords, here you are questioning the Three of Cups, wondering if you're going to have it. And we have the Empress. And for me, this Empress uh, is maybe not so much a mother. There could be a mother here. You could be, you know, there could definitely be a mother in this reading, but... For me, in the doubts, with all these uh, challenging cards, you're doubting that an empress, a third-party empress, will, like, kind of engage or, uh, you know, they will kind of, like, respond to you or want you, even, right? And this is, the you know, the number three in the major arcana. The empress is often somebody, kind of a third-party or a mistress, and somebody, it could be a man or a woman, you guys. It could be, although I don't call a man a mistress. No, I don't, you guys. I'm traditional. Yeah. Uh, shame on me, right? Wow, my bad. <laughs> but, you know, because we're not PC over here. No, we're not, you guys. We are, uh, because that, for me, that's a divisive tactic to separate people, for sure, right? When they start controlling your language and telling you what you can't say, yeah. And let's see what else we have. The Eight of Cups. See, you're you're fearing here that this person might leave you. Uh, you're leaving a situation to go towards somebody, Virgo. Uh, but you are the person you're going toward. Uh, you know, you're you're just you have a lot of doubts about them, and you could be fearing that. Uh, wow, I'm leaving somebody here, and you're leaving behind heartbreak. Behind heartbreak, you could even be losing money. We have this card, uh, the Lobster, financial pinch. <coughs> let's look at your person's energy they're in the five of cup uh five of cups energy with the star card this person is grieving uh i feel like you healing another situation they know this person knows that you're not just leaving they know you're leaving to be with somebody else and how they know i'm not sure it's possible this person is a high priestess and uh kind of, you know, uh, a natural high priestess. Maybe they are Scorpio. Scorpio knows. Yeah, Scorpio is a badass. They do know. And because we have the death card and the world card here, they could be Scorpio, right? Who is, you know, the all-knowing uh, high priestess, right? Who has <clears throat> baby, basically uh, been born somebody with major intuition. Yeah, major. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else we have for your person's energy. They have the Page of Pentacles. This person is uh, dealing with emotional loss over you having a new uh, a new start with somebody else or over you having, like, you know, something new, basically, something solid. This person knows you don't want to just move on. 
And the Ace of, this this Aquarian card here is showing up here. This is Aquarius. It could be Aquarius energy here is what I'm saying. Your person's challenge, Virgos, the Five of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. So their challenge is that you're leaving them out in order to hold on to somebody else. This is very clear. What they want, Virgos, the Ace of Swords, uh, you know, they might, they, want, they might want some major victory here uh, because this person already has clarity about what's going on. They might want the truth, though. Ace of Swords can talk about the truth. The Ace of Wands. Wow. Let's see what else we have. Your person's hope or desire. The Nine of Pentacles reversed. This person, I feel like, wants to start all over with you. They have two Aces in their desire. Mm -hmm. It's possible this person wants the truth, the truth from you, though. Yeah, because I don't. I feel like this person knows it's, it's not. This isn't at the. This is not uh, able to salvage or to rectify or to hold on to. I. I don't. I'm not seeing that here. This person is grieving too much. Yeah. So what they want, I feel like, is the truth about you having a a new beginning with somebody else or another opportunity. Uh, because the Nine of Pentacles is showing up. I feel like they want to know. Uh, maybe they're hoping they're not going to lose money here. Yeah, this could be just their current. This could be just their energy. It doesn't always work out to be their desire or their hope. Two of Cups. OMG. I feel like your person wants the truth here. It's possible this person wants you to lose money. You have this financial pinch card here. Like, you know, maybe they're telling you, you know what, you leave me, you're going you're gonna to lose money. Because this looks like a marriage, right? It does. It, or some type of a marriage type situation. And the Two of Cups, the fact that this is in this reading here, and you have uh, yourself, Virgo, uh, the Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Cups, I feel like, and your person has the Star card, there's somebody here that is really uh, near and dear to you. Somebody that you are like, you, you can't you can't stop yourself, right? The hands of fate is here. And that's what this card is about up here, this Five of Cups. It talks about tempting the hands of fate and creating kind of an you know, emotional loss. What they uh, are fearing is the Four of Pentacles and the Ace, the Knight of Swords, rather. And this is, they're afraid you're holding on here. And this is in their challenge, the Four of Pentacles pentacles and let's see what else they are doubting or fearing the magician yeah they're afraid you're gonna they're afraid you're gonna take action here and you're gonna manifest something for yourself this person is there could be some jealousy here but the type of jealousy that is justified right yeah the type of jealousy that comes from pain and you know yeah we're gonna end this reading Virgo we're gonna go to the extended and we're gonna see all about this person uh, we're going to pull a rune to, yeah, we're going to see what's going on with that, and uh, which is another form of divination. And we're going to see, Virgo, the issues, the underlying issues between this person. We're going to look at their physical or their, their environment. It could be their emotional environment, how they feel about you, what's crowning their thoughts, yes, and their near future, mm -hmm. what they hide or what you don't know about them. And, of course, their true intentions are all super affordable. Thank you so much for joining me here, you guys. And uh, God bless everybody, and uh, we're going to see uh, what happens in this reading. Thank you so much, guys.